Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Danny Frid, a senior from Ron's England, was named Sooner Athletic Conference Player of the Year last week, and uh, you guys are heading into postseason play. What have been the keys to the team's success this season after winning the Sooner Athletic Conference regular season title? Well, to be honest, there's been no secret this year. We really just have worked really hard. I think uh, last year we relied a lot on individual talent. Uh, this year, the coach, Coach Harvey, he uh, recruited some really good kids that really wanted to turn up and work hard. Uh, we had a great preseason. Uh, the, the games we had before conference were very tough, so it left us in good stead for the conference, really. And obviously, it turned out well because we ended up winning the conference, so it was good. You guys really seemed to make a turnaround once conference play started. Is that a function of uh, the non-conference season being really tough, or did you kind of have a, a moment where you said, all right, it's time to start playing now? Yeah, well, it's kind of nice whether you're struggling or if you're doing well. In our case, we were struggling a little bit. Um, it's nice to actually like clean this, clean the slate, and you get a fresh start. Um, it was good for us because our first game was at home this year. Uh, we won that, and then we got a point away at John Brown, and we just kept going and going and going and building every game. So it's nice if you're struggling to clear the slate. Yeah, definitely. You guys have home field advantage throughout the Sooner Athletic Conference tournament, which you're in the middle of right now. How important is that to the team? Uh, it's very important on a day like today. We don't have to travel when it's 32 degrees, but. Um, no, it's very important. Coach Harvey takes great care in the field. Um, it's probably one of the best facilities in, in, in Oklahoma and definitely in our conference. So the way we like to play is we get the ball down and pass it. And if we've got a good surface to work with, it's definitely a big advantage for us. Last week, you were named the Sooner Athletic Conference Player of the Year. What does that honor mean to you? I mean, it's a great honor. I'd be lying if I didn't say. Obviously, everyone likes to receive recognition. Um, but it's down to the team. If we, if we didn't win the conference, no one in our team would have received honors. So... It's down to the hard work and the attitude that we had coming into the season that I was allowed to receive a vote. And I mean, it was, it's a great honor. I was lucky to get some goals this year and some assists, but it's down to the team's hard work. I really owe it to the team. What's your major here at OCU? Uh, business administration. Uh, what are your career plans, if any, following soccer? Um, I'd love to coach. I'd love to still be involved in, um, I think my ankles are giving way a little bit, so I don't know how much I'll be able to play. But um, I'd love to coach and I'd love to eventually enter the business world somehow. You come from, uh, from England. What brought you here to OCU? Well, originally I came here to coach. came here to coach soccer in Atlanta, Georgia for the summer. And I visited my best friend at Southwest Christian University that are in our conference now. Ended up signing for them. Signed at Missouri State for a year. And I knew Coach Harvey from before. So, and I knew I wanted to end my last two years at OCU. So I gave him a call and we made it happen. All right, thanks very much. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Danny Frid. The stars are in the middle of the Sooner Athletic Conference Tournament. You can follow their progress on OCUsports.com. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to track and cross-country coach Connor Holt. The Stars just uh, completed the Sooner Athletic Conference Championships. The men won the event, and the women finished third. And, uh, Coach, talk about your men's team. You had four all-conference runners. Peter Koska is now a two-time all-conference runner. Talk about your men's performance. Yeah, the boys ran well. Um, we, we got out there on Saturday. Uh, it was in Shawnee, and we actually got to host the meet in a way because OBUs, this is their last year in the NEIA, and they weren't allowed to uh, host it. The Sooner Athletic Conference wouldn't let them host it, so so we stepped in and we we hosted it, but it was on their home turf. But uh, um, they they ran well. It was very windy out there. It was from about twenty to thirty five miles per hour. The gusts were so so. I kind of changed my race plan on the day. I kind of told, I gathered the boys together beforehand. I said, listen, let's just get through this and let's stay healthy and and uh, just get a good hard workout in. And they kind of 
They kind of ran pretty well. We actually had uh, seven guys uh, finishing the uh, top 15. So, and that's all conference. So yeah, so we ran pretty well, yeah. So, and the women then anyway, they, uh, it, was a, it was a good battle on the women's side. Um, they, uh, there was the three teams, four teams actually going into the OBU, uh, Wayland Baptist, ourselves, and Texas Wesling, all ranked in the top 25. And that was a great, that was a great, great, great old battle out there. And we ended up getting third by about 16, 17 points. But uh, but um, yeah, we, the girls fought hard. It was it was it was a it was it was a great battle out there, and and uh, it was exciting to see. And uh, it's just great to see that I've created the kind of culture and the environment now I've created over the last few years here is finally coming to just a show every day. And uh, it was good to go there and collect some hardware, trophies wise, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was good. So. As far as your men's team is concerned, you said that uh, you're never sure which of your men's squad is going to finish first in a given race. Yeah. Uh, what kind of a luxury is that for you? You know, because then you know you, we we do benchmark workouts. We do about twelve or fourteen a year in the fall, and uh, you know it's it's every day. Their times are very comparable, you know, and and I think it's whoever feels the best on the day. You could say, you know, on, on the day of the race. And uh, Peter's been kind of up there for us, and then Dave Monford, who didn't race last Saturday, and um, and then Ari obviously, and uh, Chuba Matko is coming into his own now, and uh, and then Mackenzie. And then Kyle and uh, Michael Verco Curtis and Reno Bloom. So they're all starting to come around now. And uh, and um, um, but it is a kind of a, a nice luxury, I guess you could say. And that's always the goal when you when you want to have a top top team is to always have guys you know that you can rely on, guys that you know will go to the well for you when it matters. And um, and we have that kind of kind of environment now that I think if I was to pull a guy into the office and say, listen, I really want you to do something special now, they, they do it, you know, and uh, uh, for themselves, obviously, and for the team and for the school. So, so I think, you know, it's, 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 it's a good thing to have, you know, and uh, I'm not complaining, that's for sure, you know, so, yeah. On your women's side, you had three all-conference runners, and the team finished no worse than third yeah. uh, in any race this season. Talk about the, the team's performance on the yeah, women's side. Yeah, you know, you know, their train has gone really well over the last 12, 14 weeks as well, and it's it's just exciting as you can come to practice every day and um, and 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 see a group that's as positive as they are, and they're young, very young still, and and but we do have some good leadership on the team and. And I think it's creating the same kind of environment that we've created with the boys is what we're trying to do that with the girls too, you know. So, so I think it's, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, obviously they got an at-large bid uh, going into the national championships now. And I, I knew kind of if they were ranked in the top 25, they'd have a good shot. And we're ranked 20 now, I believe. And, um, and they're ready to give it all here for, the, for themselves and for the team and for the program uh, a week from Saturday, you know. So, yeah. You travel to Lawrence, Kansas for the NAIA Championships. What are your expectations heading into the event? You know, you look at last year where we went away and won the darn thing on the men's side and we got 16th on the women. So I'm thinking pretty much the, the same, to be honest, yeah. You know, I think um, uh, we talk about this every day and uh, as, as a men's team, um, you know, they've, they've, they've realized that they are favorites and it's going to be a tough competition. There's about three or four teams that are, that are gunning for us. And I think, you know, we're just going to have to accept the fact that they're gunning for us and don't let any of their bullets touch us. So that's what we're kind of looking forward to is getting out there and, and competing the way that, that we, we speak about and we talk about on a daily basis. And because, you know, our practices, I wouldn't say they're intense, but they're very, they're very high, uh, you know, they're very high uh, focused practices. There's not much waste of talent here in this group. And, um, and what we've created uh, over the last few years is kind of coming true now. You can see it, the preparation, the dedication. And, uh, and so, yeah, so we're, look, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, so. I know last year at the national championships, it was very cold on the day. Are yeah. uh, you expecting something similar this year? You know, I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know. But, you know, whatever, whatever they throw at us, we're ready. You know, I was out there walking my dog here this morning and it was quite cold. But... After about five minutes, you really just don't, you forget about that and you enjoy your walk. And I think it's the same when you're runners, you know, you, you might whine and complain about it for five minutes, but then your body just adapts to it. And, and the group that I have, there's no whining and complaining in that group, you know, so, uh, so, so we're, we'll be ready whatever they throw at us there with the old weather from Kansas, you know, so. You brought in a new assistant this year, Matt Aguero. What yeah. impact has he had on the team? 
you know, it just makes my job easier, to be honest. <laughs> you know, it's just on a daily basis. He's great. He's great across the board. He has head coaching experience. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a great sounding board and great recruiter. We've already signed about five or six kids. And uh, he's, he's really good with the kids, works well with them. And uh, the kids really respect him. And uh, they, they love having him around. And, uh, but, yeah, great guy. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been good so far. So, yeah. One of your runners, Emily Guthrie, has published a book called The Last Run. Uh, what can you tell us about that? You know, I, 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 she gave me a copy of it, and I've been so busy that I haven't really had a chance to sit down and read it. But I'm looking forward to reading it after the season's over. I did notice, though, there's no pictures in it. So, you know, for me, if I don't have pictures in a book, it's hard for me to kind of get through it, you know? Because I like a few diagrams here and there. But, uh, you know, when you're 20, 21, 22 years old and you're able to do something like that, that says something about what you, what, what, what's in store for you as, as, as in the future. So we couldn't be more excited for Emily. She's a great kid, very loyal, hardworking kid. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, like I said earlier, you know, the environment and the culture that we've created here, we've created winners, we've created a championship program. And that does, just doesn't happen with running on the field. It's with everything that you do in life. And that's what I strive for every day is to be successful. And I think the kind of kids that we'll continue to recruit into the program are kids just like Emily and just like the boys and the girls on the team. It's that they're just successful people. And uh, so, yeah, we're, 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 we're excited for her and we're excited for Saturday week. So, yeah. So. All right, Coach, thanks very much for talking to track cross-country coach Connor Holt. The Stars will compete in the NAI Championships on November 22nd in Lawrence, Kansas.